hello friends welcome back hearty welcome to you let us look at this very very interesting problem we have been given a triangle pqr we have been given a quadrilateral abcd inscribed it we have to find out the area of abcd given to us that pa equal to 5 ad equal to 3 qd equal to 2 qc equal to 5 cr equal to 3 BR equal to 4 and PB equal to 6. Now, with this information, what is our approach to solve this problem? Let's discuss at high level what we want to do. So, then we will go through step by step. If you are able to observe, you see that PQ equal to PR. That means this triangle is an isosceles triangle. That means with respect to QR, we can easily find out the height of the triangle now once we are able to find out the height of the triangle with respect to base qr we can easily solve this problem by drawing parallel lines by drawing parallel lines parallel to qr base and finding out the areas and subtracting from the total area of the triangle pqr so our first step is to what is the height of this triangle by taking base as QR. So, let's go ahead and do that. For that, what I will do? I will take a simple triangle, just small triangle here. We have PQ equal to 10. We won't write anything inside this triangle. We just want to only find out the height. So, PQ is 10. We know that. PR is 10 we know that and QR equal to 8. Now, how to find out the height of this particular triangle? For that, what we will do? We will divide this triangle into two equal parts by a perpendicular bisector. So, then we know that let us say this height equal to H and divide it into two parts 4 and 4 and let us say this is X then we can write down H equal to square root of 10 square minus 4 square which is equal to root of 84 which is equal to 2 root 21. Now let's keep this h value as it is. We will use it in the final step. Till then we will continue with h because there are roots. We don't want to get confused. We will go ahead with this whole problem till the last step with h only. In the last step we will substitute h value. Okay. Now what we found out actually is we found out this height. We found out this height. Now can I get triangles which are similar to this PQR triangle in such a way then if I am able to do that or if I am able to get triangles which are having which are similar to this particular triangle or we, for which we know the base then I can use the formula half into base into height. So let's go ahead and divide this triangle PQR into some parts. Now you can see that I have drawn this line A B A some x let us say here we have divided PAB into two parts such that PAB triangle is parallel to PQR triangle that means I can find out what is the value of AB once we know the value of AB because they are similar triangles the corresponding sides will be proportional once we know this then automatically we can calculate this area this area this area this area subtract from the total area. Now as we have done height here let us also calculate what is the area of triangle PQR. Let's finish that then we will go to each triangle and we will try to put the formula for each one of them. So first let's find out what is PQR area. So for that I will write down where we have started there only area of triangle PQR equal to half into base that is 8 into h you remember i said we will use h only till last minute so area of triangle pqr is 4h now let's go to each of these triangles before that i have to find out what is this particular length what is the measure of this 
we know that PAB is similar to PQR triangle because we have drawn a parallel line corresponding angles are equal now you know corresponding sides are proportional the diagram may not look realistic but this is 5 and this total is 10 if this is 8 how much this will be 5 by 10 equal to x by 8 that means the length of this green part the green line segment is 4 so let's put a name there and let us say this is x okay then what is length of ax we will write down ax is given by we know that ax divided by 8 is equal to 5 by 10 from which triangles we are getting this triangle PAX is similar to triangle PAX is similar to triangle PQR from that we can get that AX equal to 4 now we can go ahead and write down 4 then AX equal to 4 now we are ready to find out the areas now now let's go ahead and find out each of these areas 1 2 3 and 4 because for 1 we will take the base which is parallel to QR that means if I know the height of this triangle is H then the height of this triangle will be H by 2 this triangle will be H by 10 this triangle will be 2 H by 5 and this triangle will be H by 5 because if you are able to drop a perpendicular then you can see that all these triangles are similar to each other so their corresponding heights will be in the same ratio if you go to this triangle drop a perpendicular drop a perpendicular drop a perpendicular drop a perpendicular we see that the heights will be in the same ratio so let's go ahead and find out each of these areas i'll write down one by one so first i'll write down area of first part one is given by half into base which is equal to 4 and height when I want to calculate the height what is the side here we have we have there an isosceles triangle so this is 5 5 PAX is 5 5 4 so the height will be for 10 10 8 if the height is H for 5 5 4 height will be H by 2 it is proportional that's equal to H now let's go to area number 2 area number 2 half into base 4 into height now you see here XB is equal to 1 XB equal to 1 for 10 if you have H for 1 how much it will be that will be nothing but equal to H by 10 so that is half into 4 into H by 10 which is equal to H by 5 let's go to the third part in the third part we have half into base which is equal to 5 multiply that with let's go to the height now this side is 2 for for 10 we have H for 2 how much it will be because we are going to drop a perpendicular so that will be nothing but H by 5 so let's go ahead and write down that for 10 if it is H for 2 it will be nothing but H by 5 so let's go ahead and write down that that is into H by 5 5 and 5 cancels will get H by 2 now let's go to the last part that is fourth in that case half into base is 3 and the height for height what I have to do for 10 the height is H for 4 what will be the height that will be nothing but 4 by 10 which is nothing but 2 by 5 into H so you can easily get that 2 H by 5 let us simplify that that will be equal to 3 H by 5 now let us add all of them and subtract from the triangle PQR so let's write down area of quadrilateral quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle PQR which is I'll write down area of triangle PQR minus area of 
वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर वी हैव टू एड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट इट सो लेट्स गो हेड एंड डू दैट दैट इज इक्वल टू एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी वी नो फोर हेच माइनस ऑफ वन इज हेच टू इज हेच बाई फाइव थ्री इज हेच बाई टू एंड द फोर्थ वन इज थ्री हेच बाई फाइव लेट एस सिंपलीफाई दैट वी विल हैव दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर हेच माइनस लेट मी सिंपलीफाई दैट एंड गिव इट टू यू आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन विच इज इक्वल टू सेवनटीन हेच बाई टेन बट वॉट इज अवर हेच वैल्यू वी नो दैट दैट इज सेवनटीन बाई टेन इन टू हेच वैल्यू इज टू रूट ट्वेंटी वन सो टू विल गो फाइव टाइम्स अवर आंसर विल बी सेवनटीन रूट ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव लेट्स राइट इट डाउन हियर एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी इज गिवेन बाई सेवनटीन रूट ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव दैट इज द एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी डी ट्राइंगल so let's have a recap of this problem this seems to be an interesting problem i tried to find out this solution in net i tried to explore i was unable to get a proper solution for this so then i just thought let me make a video because i see this problem in couple of websites where no solution was given to this so i just thought let me do my part and try to give a solution and get your feedback on this okay let me have a recap of this we'll finish it in one minute i know i have taken more time but we'll finish it now okay we have been given a triangle pqr we have been asked to find out the quadrilateral abcd area now first thing you have to observe is this is an isosceles triangle that means with respect to base qr i can find out the height now once we are able to do that we can draw one line ax parallel to qr then we have divided the triangle pab into two parts and the dqc is third and bcr is fourth now all of them i can calculate the areas because their base is parallel to qr and if i am able to draw the altitudes in each of these triangles by similarity criteria i can easily find out the heights of them so we leveraged that we found out each of these heights areas we subtracted from the area of pqr we got the solution as 17 into root 21 divided by 5 so that's one interesting problem please do let me know your feedback thanks for your time and support i'll catch you once again with another interesting example till then keep smiling and sharing bye for now please don't forget to donate for kerala whatever you can do the brothers and sisters there need our help in this time we have to be with them thanks for your support once again bye for now